to Nicholas. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, when we were looking and we were talking about parabolas, I gave you guys a new formula. Actually, I didn't give you a new formula. I used a kind of a vertex formula to describe a parabola. We said a parabola that's vertical we know is going to be y equals um, a times x minus h squared plus k. right? And the important thing that was helpful about this is when you know this, you know h comma k is your vertex, right? And you guys could easily graph this by using transformations. A told you if the graph opened up or down, and blah, 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 blah. So, but that was for a parabola, all right? So now what I want to do is I want to show you guys how can we be able to determine then a formula for a circle. Now, the one important thing when we talk about our definition of a circle is we said that all the points are equidistant to the center, right? They're all equal, yes? So I'm, what I'm going to do is let's pick an arbitrary point x, y. So let's just pick one point, because we don't need to pick all the points, because one, it has infinite many points, and two, all the points are all equal distance to the same center. And let's call that point on the center h comma k. Yes? OK. So now, let's go ahead and figure out what that distance would be. All right, Because we said all the distances are all equal, right? So we could say the distance between h, k, and x, y do you guys, uh, anybody remember how to find the distance? We could do the distance formula, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, and then you take the square root. Right? You guys remember the distance formula between two points? If this would be, this could be like x1, y1, this could be x2, y2, or sorry, this would be x2, y2, this would be x1, y1. But now we're not using x2 and x1. We're using x and h. So as long as you have the difference of the two points, so you find the difference of the two points, square them, add them up, and then take the square root. That's the distance formula. Do you guys remember the distance formula? No? no? OK. Um, we can go back over and explain going through the distance formula. So anyways, if I want to find, though, yes? Because the square root doesn't distribute o across uh, addition. You can't just cancel those out. Okay. So now, what we could do, though, if we want to write a formal definition, what does actually d represent? d represents our what? Distance. distance. And that distance, exactly, I heard it, is what? Your radius. So rather than calling the distance d, let's call the distance r. All right. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I don't really want to deal with this square root. So what I'm going to do, Destin, is I'm going to take this, I'm going to square both sides. Therefore, I can say r squared equals x minus h squared plus <coughs> y minus k squared. And guess what? That is now our definition of a circle. OK? There you go. Comment, like, subscribe. Come look, subscribe.